were not the subject of eight years of war, where your cities were showered with missiles, carrying, new, carrying chemical warheads, and you did not have a single missile to retaliate. We will be instituting the highest level of economic sanction. Any nation that helps Iran in its quest for nuclear weapons could also be strongly sanctioned by the United States. All right, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Havakar Kodash, Ma'amat. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to Yaakim and Agwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of this earth, man. Um, amen. War is at the doorstep, and destruction and judgment is at the doorstep for you damn so so called um you damn Edomites, so called white people, man. All right, and two thirds of you damn so called ne uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, and uh, the Lord is about to come and put a lot of end, well, put an end to the wickedness all right, upon this earth, man. Put an end to the rulership and authority. Of uh, America, the great whore of Babylon, all right, uh, the daughter of Babylon, you know, gonna put an end to uh, her authority and rulership in the world, all right, and he's doing it uh, through tearing down all the philosophies and witchcraft and the, and uh, making her naked, man, all right, and people like Trump, you see, the only thing they got is pride, they, 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 uh, trying to, uh, box um the Euro European Union countries and also it's like biting the hand that feeds you, right? So they they trying to <laughs> they trying to trap those countries in and also uh box Iran into where they boxing them in with sanctions saying uh they won't be able to do deals with any of American uh dealing countries. All right, so if they put harsher sanctions on Iran, that means no countries even None of the countries in Europe that deals with America will be able to transact with Iran at all. So they're trying to cut America, uh, Iran out, leave leave Iran exile. But it's impossible right now because they all need Iran. All right, they all in unity right now. They need Iran more than they need America. All right, so they're trying to attack the gold and also um the gold reserve and also their oil. All right, their economy and their oil. So what's going to happen is they're going to do a tit for tat and they're going to attack America's oil in their economy. All, all um, Iran has to do is trade in the wine and China trade in, in the wine. And everybody just moved towards the wine and uh, the their other currencies. Everybody just dumped the dollars. They can do that shit like this week and it'd be over. A cut off what they call the... Uh, 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 the Persian Gulf, right? This, this, the Strait of Hormuz. If they cut off, the, if, if Iran decides to cut that off, then, um, then you know, all the flow of uh, of goods that come to America will be cut off. All right. So they got it. They got America spread out thin with their military. The Lord set that up. You know, He said He's gonna send them off to a land that's barren and des desolate, and that's the Middle East. All right. Now it says uh, the great Zephaniah one and fourteen, because judgment comes to these goddamn devils, man. Uh, people like Trump, you know, his pale ass walking around with all that damn uh, suntan on. You know what I mean? Sitting there just talking, put, putting his fingers up like a little female, man. Just dealing with people's lives, man. You know, talking about murdering people, really. Uh. They said they're going to put harsher sanctions than anybody has ever seen. <laughs> Whatever, man. So, hey, that, um, what they're trying to put on these other nations, the Lord going to allow these nations to put their hell and their burden on America. Because right? it's their turn. Right? And also, it's all these heathens' turn to go into slavery under the children of Israel. So, I'm going to just read the scriptures. Zephaniah 1 and 14. And we're going to hear some things in the next few days, man. You know, over these next few days this year because past the hard coin this year the year of prophecy and you see this shit kicking off man we waited a long time for this I'm 
you know, I remember uh, around 2008, 2007, um, this woman that I was with, she didn't believe me. You know, she was, um, you know, she. I, I remember she didn't believe me. And the first thing she seen was we saw on TV was Hillary Clinton. They mentioned uh, uh, Iran, and she started crying. She broke down crying. Later, that girl, when the prophecies uh, seemed to be dying down, that woman went back into the world. You know, chased a movie career, went had sex with everybody, went over to L.A. and she and the damn Snoop Dogg and um. Pharrell video and shit, <laughs> and the whole video dealing with pyramids and Babylonian shit. So she done sold out, man, gone. Got that American dream, but right now, now she's shaking her ass on YouTube and, and with little views and shit. Shit crazy, man. That's how shit go, man. But now look, now look, man, you got the prophecy speaking. Nish. <laughs> you know? Now these people got that the people that's been running, people that turned their back, that was teaching, then stopped teaching. And now they're gonna have to look at all of this that mocked the, the prophets. Man, mocked the scriptures, burnt scriptures, disrespected, mocked mocked the Israelites. Man. Hey, we we you've been warned. Israel and Iran going to war is one of the last prophecies of the scriptures. That and the RFID chip getting pushed. <laughs> you know, that's the last prophecy of the scriptures, man. The World War Three breaking up. That's it. That's it. So, your house shot showing up after that. The missile's getting shot. <laughs> it says Zephaniah um, 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh Bashim El Shah is near. It is near. And hasteth grace greatly. So he said, hasten the day. Well, it's, it's hasting greatly, man. Because the Lord said, what? Um, do it tarry, wait for it. And his days are not our, as our years, as our days, man. A thousand years to us is a day to him. So he's not slack, as men count slackness. He's doing everything in his time, man. Everything in decency and in order. And hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, Yahweh, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Man, they're going to cry there bitterly. The day, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of wasteness. Why? Because he, well, he said he created the waster to destroy. And anything that leaves in this path is going to be a wilderness. So it's going to waste it, man. It says um, it's going to be a wasteland and desolation. And uh, a a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet. See, the day of the trumpet. There you go again, because this is the prophecy speaking now. You know, you had where you say, blow up a trumpet in Zion, you know, and wake up the mighty men. Well, this is the trumpet of the prophecy speaking. It says, a day of the trumpet. An alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers, man. So against their defense systems and, the, you know, the, uh, all the defenses in any fashion of the word. A, and I will um, bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh. And that's what's happening to two thirds of our people. They are walking as blind men upon the earth. All right. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. You know, that's what the scriptures say. Um, there should be no light in that day. There's gonna be nothing but darkness, and right? nothing but wickedness and uh, death. And also, um, it's gonna be darkness, literally, All right? gross darkness, <laughs> like real darkness, like in the time of Egypt. It says neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. In the day of Yahweh's wrath, right? Because nobody wants America's gold because America doesn't have any gold. If they do, they don't have enough to pay out everybody. They just gave uh, French, France some of the gold. But, you know, that's nothing. You know, uh, France already, France loaned them that and they were just giving it back. That's what they're not telling nobody. So they're not, um, 
they don't have anything to pay off all these nations, all the debt that's been accumulated. You know, six, so it's at 600 trillion or some shit. It says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in that day. In the day of Yahweh's wrath, so all these threats, all these sanctions, they ain't going to be able to deliver them either. But the world, the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. And the speedy riddance is this. This is Revelations 18 and 15. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing and saying alas alas that great city america babylon that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls all right so all the riches of the world man all right uh, the resources of the world were all um imported here america is a place that's built off of imports instead of uh exports it's all built off imports. The only thing they export is the damn fiat currency, the dollar. All right, that's an import as well, coming from um, what do you call uh, the feds. All right, but they just centralized in in America, in D.C. <clears throat> but it's still not part of America, so it's still an import in a sense. But they have the printing press, so they can keep printing their their uh magic currency. All right. Now it says uh. And saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and, per and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught and every shipmaster. So in one hour, man. So that's what that's the point. So, you know, they built this, this land up in over 500 something years. And in one hour is, is over. But they've been trying to attain the get, trying to reach out into the heavens, find, go into the uh, spiritual realm with CERN and shit. All right, um, trying to destroy the children of Israel, building up all these damn places all over the place. But the Lord said, "What he going? They shall build, but he shall throw down." All this in one hour. They built all these missiles up. Right, they got all these plans and ideas, and got these families and graduations. All that stuff is in vain. It says, in one hour, so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by the sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the in the sea by reason of her costliness i mean the imports and uh, export you know imports and shit for in one hour is she made desolate so they were made rich by the dollar all right but now that dollar is making everybody impoverished so these nations that burn america and bomb this place all these other nations that uh, lesser nations that are under america they're gonna be saying yo we were getting rich off this place Actually, all the nations that got rich off America in general, and they're gonna stand that that are still standing. They're gonna look at this place and say, "Damn, they're gonna know they're about to be judged next." You know, so it says, "For in one hour is she made desolate." So that's the destruction that's coming to this place. <clears throat>